Hello and welcome to another episode in our video series about Git. And this episode, I wanted to ask Trisha how I can contribute to an open source project. So how do I take a project off GitHub and um, get that into my editor in order for me to make a pull request? So um, Trisha, straight over to you, please. Um, yes. So as always, there's a bunch of different ways of doing this. You can, of course, like cl clone the um, clone the project directly, um, and you can interact with it in a number of different ways. So we'll just show you one. Firstly, I've got a project open. It's demo code, basically. It's Spring Data Examples from Spring Projects. Now, let's say I wanted to fork this and contribute to it. So obviously, I can press the the fork button, and I'm going to uh, fork it on my profile. Um, which it will then do. And then you can see it's uh, Trisha G Spring Data Examples. Now, what I can do is uh, I can clone it using, if I copy this, uh, this link to the project, then in IntelliJ, I can go to VCS. I can check out from version control, GitHub. Okay, so then you get this window up here and you paste in the... Uh, the URL of the repository you're trying to clone. And then you can sort of save it wherever you want, obviously. I'm just going to use the defaults here. And I will clone this. OK. So that's pulling it down from GitHub onto your local machine, right? Yeah, and it's pulling it down from my repo, so my fork of, of the Spring Data um, code. Now, uh, it's recognized that this could be an IntelliJ project file. So yes, I am going to open it in IntelliJ as a whole project. In this case, it's recognized that the Spring Data is a Maven project. So it's doing the, the Maven import, imp importing all the dependencies, and building up the, the project structure um, the way that a Maven project would expect. Now, while it's doing that, one of the other things I might want to do is I might want to add um, another remote, because we've cloned it from my repo. But I might want to add the upstream um, remote as well, so that I can keep them in sync, as we showed in our last video. Yeah. So I can go to VCS, Git and I can go to remotes. And this will show me my remotes. So origin is, is Trisha G. So that's my remote. Now I want to add the upstream one. And um, it depends on what you want to call it. I usually call it by the, the name of the, I usually call it by the name of the organization. Okay. So yeah. I'm going to call it, so this is my URL, I'm going to call it spring projects. Okay, this is typically what I would call upstream, but yeah, right. I understand what you're doing. And then I add that. And then I can see that I, I now have two hubs. So this makes it easy for me to fetch stuff from, from either of the remotes. I'm actually going to work with a JavaScript project. So I'm going to be working in WebStorm for this video. Um, it's exactly the same in IntelliJ, PHP, Storm, PyCharm. All the IDs work the same way. Um, so if we flip over to GitHub, this is the repository I want to work with. This is the um, Reveal.js, which is a JavaScript presentation framework. We use it quite extensively inside of JetBrains. Um, so I am going to fork that, as Trisha did. Now, you'll notice I have a ton of different organizations, but I'll just fork it to my own repository. So as GitHub photocopies the, uh, the repository for me, there we go. And as Trisha said, now what I want to do is to copy this link to my clipboard. So this is my fork of reveal.js and go back to WebStorm. I'm just in the title page instead of using the menu. So this is the screen you see when you have no projects open. If I check out from version control in GitHub, I just want to paste my fork into there. Um, it's saying to me that I can't use this um, directory name. I already have one. So let's just call that uh, fork and clone. And again, this is doing exactly the same as Trisha's IntelliJ did. It's just pulling down the repository. Now it's asking me, do I want to open this? So let's say yes, obviously I do. And we just get a quick part of indexing. And everything's available for me to work on. Again, in the same way that uh, Trisha did, I can go back to my browser and where I forked this from and add this as the, the upstream remote, so to speak. So we'll just copy this from here and go back to WebStorm. Um, and then I just need to do exactly what Trisha did. So VCS, and then Git, and then Remotes. Whoop. And then I'll click Add. And as I said, I like to call my upstream upstream in whatever I'm doing. It really makes no difference what you call it. It is only a name that you'll use to refer to 
um, if you were using the command line or when you're working with the Git log and the, the other Git integrations. And so there we go. Uh, this is, so now we're ready to work and create a pull request and make your con contributions to open source. Uh, thank you very much again, Tricia. My pleasure, as always. Uh, leave us some comments. We are reading your comments and we will try and do the, the videos that people are asking for. So please feel free to comment um, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.